Hello guys, I don't know if you can see where I'm at, but I'm on a down tree suspended off the ground about seven feet. Look down there, the ground is way down there. But what's in front of me is a freshly cut and harvested cornfield. Now I've got a new gun that you guys have never seen before on my channel. It's actually a Remington 870 Express 20 gauge compact. Yeah, I know, it's a, it's a lot of words. But long story short, it's a super compact shotgun. It's got a compact stock, so it's kind of like a youth model, but it's also only got a 21 inch barrel. This is practically the smallest do-all shotgun I can really get my hands on. I have a modified choke in it, and we're hunting whatever flies. I've already seen turkeys out here, but they got away. There is some crows out here, maybe some geese or something, but there's a big flock of pigeons right there, and that's what I had my eye on. Before I kill those pigeons, I gotta get down there first. We got a long way to go. Abram actually is here with us, but he has declined the offer to attempt to make it through all this stuff. He's staying up top. Putting on the head cam, let's try our best not to die. I've just got to kind of like shimmy down this tree. Like there's nothing easy about it, but this gun's not exactly the most expensive model in the world, which makes me a little more willing to beat around with it. See if I can slip the gun up there. If it can hold my gun right there, I'll be good for a little ways. Oh, we're almost a little bit further down the tree. Grab onto this. Feel solid. All right, it's a pretty it's a decently sturdy tree. Try my best, here we go. All right, we're almost to the ground. Pet, pet. Oh, okay, I'm on the ground. Just gotta beat my way through this a little bit further. Yes, I'm in the field. Okay, okay, we're here. Now these pigeons are not the smartest bird in the world, so that's why I don't have full camouflage on and I still think I can get them. Dang, what's this? Brand new hoodie, dude, got this for Christmas. Breaking it in pretty good, I guess. For shells, I got these Remington six shot game loads. Should be perfect for about anything, anything I'm gonna be shooting. Wish me luck. All right, here I go. I gotta locate those pigeons first though. I've came out here and done the same thing before and it worked out pretty good. Basically, since it's such a big field and I don't have any decoys, my best strategy is just to literally just walk towards them until they fly and then shoot them when they fly or catch them as they're flying by. Doves are also in season. I have pigeons right on top of that telephone pole. There's really no cover, but I have to close the distance. So I'm just gonna walk in a straight line and hopefully they don't notice me. And even if they do notice me, hopefully I'm close enough to shoot them as they fly off. I didn't kill any of them, but I am gonna reload because there is more coming and those might come back. Oh, there's some, there's some. Oh, dude, look at all the feathers. Look at all these feathers, dude. I hit him. I knew I hit him. Oh, they're dead now. Dang, I ain't doing too hot at all. Is it because it's a 20 gauge? I mean, I personally do not think I'm holding in the wrong spot. I'm leading them by about six inches in the path they're going. They're not too high. They're not really too far, but I sure jerked the feathers from them. I just didn't kill them. Hm. I'll pick up my holes here and uh, I'll probably just stand by that telephone pole and see if some more might show up look at all these feathers look at all these feathers they're all over the place i hit him i definitely hit him. one of the good things about hunting pigeons is that they are invasive and pretty much no one likes them and uh, no one benefits from them at all the reason they're coming out to this field is because after the farmers harvest this corn there's still going to be a few kernels here and there that the harvester just doesn't get and so birds from all over they come down fly down right here and pick through it all more pigeons inbound. I don't know if y'all saw that. Oh, they're going down. Wait, maybe not. Okay. Yep, they're going. I want to get down just in case they can see me or they care. I think they're going to the power line. Yep, they're either going to the power line or going down in the field. Yeah, they're on the power line. All right, boys, we got another chance. We got another chance. Right now, they can't see me. Right now, I could take any of them with a 22 or 17. But I don't have a 22 or a 17. We're just gonna have to do the same thing we did before. We're just gonna have to get our gun ready, walk in a straight line, and hope that we get close enough before they jump up. All right, here we go. We're close enough to kill. I'm not gonna shoot the power line. All right, we're waiting on you. Make your move. I 
I'm not gonna shoot the power line for obvious reasons. I'm gonna wait until they come off of it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay. Okay, they definitely see me. Ooh! Booga booga! Booga booga booga! Dang, I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm as close as I can get, but I can't shoot them on the power line. Oh, there they go, there they go. All right. One's down. That's nice. They might come back. They might come back. Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. There's some more. All right. Okay. Are they coming down? Are they coming down? Are they coming down? I'm just going to stand still and hope they don't see me. It's the best option right now. Those are pretty high. I definitely can't shoot those. I'm going to go get this pigeon real quick. Make sure he's completely dead. Then I'm going to hide. All right. He's dead. I'm going to chill right here. All right, let's check this guy out. Like that, as soon as he popped up, I gave him a minute so that I could get on him right where I needed to. Then I put one into him. Looks like I literally got full breast shot. He's totally done for. But that's a good little pigeon. Good little pigeon. That's what we're after too. You can see that his feet are muddy. So he's been in other cornfields probably today. I hit him all over this wing. So I believe I hit him about as good as I could have. There's our first pigeon. I definitely think we have chances to get a lot more but it's just gonna take time. Taking a nice little stroll down by the contaminated creek. It's after glowing orange, dude. I don't know what's in here. Over there's a pipe, I know that. It don't even go nowhere, it's just a pipe. Regardless though, I did see some ducks over there. I do not know what kind of ducks they are, and so because of that, I'm not gonna shoot them. I don't know anything about duck season. I don't know anything about ducks. I know for a fact I do not have steel shot, so, I mean, I have a duck license, but I... I've never used it. Anyways, I saw a duck and I don't know what it is. So I didn't shoot. Now I did see a fox squirrel, but he was on the other side of the creek. So yeah, just putting that out there. I, I just found a scope. What is this? Is there a gun on it? No, just a scope. What kind is it? Doesn't even have a brand. We're seeing it, doubt it. Definitely not no good. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm gonna just set it there. Maybe someone else will like come back and get it. I don't know, I doubt it. All right, guys, I'm back out here in this cornfield. I'm here for one mission and three side objectives. The main mission, don't leave this cornfield in an ambulance or a police car. But the side objectives are the ones that's actually interesting. Instead of bringing back that old 20 gauge, I actually brought back my 12 gauge. And this thing can stink and put it to the birds, okay? My side objectives are one, finish off what I started with those pigeons. Two, cheap shot a wood duck, if possible. And three, recover the box of shotgun shells I left down here last week. It's like literally a whole box. I just forgot I had them. Well. Until I got home, at least. But yeah, first thing, I'm gonna get my shells, and I'm fat positive I can see them right there. By golly, I ain't leaving here without my $4 worth of shells. I'm taking them home with me, son. There they are, right where I left them. Dude, heck yeah, the box is still together. All right, now I'm actually gonna leave them right here, and I'll probably end up forgetting them again, but the plan is to actually come back and get them this time. All right, so uh, here's the game plan. I've got a bunch of standard shells, which will be good for, you know, birds, pigeons, whatever. Then I got a couple of these. These are three inch magnum steel shot. This is for the wood ducks. Right over there, there's a creek. And the last few times I've been here, I've jumped up wood ducks each and every time. Well, whenever I saw them, I didn't know what they were. I just knew they's a duck. So I got on the internet, looked it up, and turns out they are a wood duck. And a wood duck is in season right now. Now I ain't no duck hunter, but if I see a sitting duck, I'ma shoot it, okay? I talked to a few experts last night, and they said that uh, since you're literally a noob and you have no idea what you're doing, Doing, don't be afraid to shoot them on the water. It's literally the best you can do because once these wood ducks take off They're flying at supersonic speeds. Not even a fighter jet can catch up to them Well folks it appears the creek has been severely flooded and the wood ducks have fled to safety All right guys, we have a lone pigeon flying through the air oh, Here he comes. He's coming away. He's coming away. Oh son That just happened. That happened perfectly. This is a 12 gauge. I'm just gonna put this out there, guys. I like a 20 gauge a lot. It's the gun I practically started out in, besides a 410. And uh, I do believe you can kill about anything you want to with a 20 gauge. But in my mind, there's also no doubt that a 12 gauge is just superior at truly killing because it just is. There's just, there's just, there's just more firepower. Do you need it? Not really. But does it kill better? It does. All right, pigeon, brother. Knocked him out of the sky. And that was a long, fast shot, too. I don't know how good y'all saw that, but that thing was scooting. Anyways, there's one pigeon. Only pigeon I've seen all day. But uh, side objective number two, 
complete. All right, let me think of what the third objective was. Oh, cheap shot of wood duck. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. It's a stinking hurricane out here. No, but for real, there is a tornado warning, but I'm in a cornfield, so I should be all right. We do not have food. We do not have food for you. I think it's recording. All right. Guys, we got a pigeon right there giving us a perfect shot. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come back behind me. You think we can hit it? Oh yeah. If it was, if it's still sided in, that's a dead bird. Ready? Yeah. Okay, there's still one, there's still one. I gotta get it quick though. Let's just walk around there. See if we can do. I don't know. We'll see. We might be able to get one. Can you see them? Yeah. I did drop this air gun a few days ago. After I dropped it, the barrel was like this. So we may have to side it in again. Let's take this over here and we'll side it in. I'm gonna aim for that little thing right there. If we can get it sided in to hit that, we should be pretty good for a pigeon. Pigeons are actually pretty big. Oh dang, it's shooting bad off. Let me try it now. We probably should have shot it before we shot at that first bird. <laughs> but the good thing is that this is so quiet, they probably won't run away for good. They'll probably still be in the area. Yeah, it probably won't scare all of them. No, that's the good thing about this kind of gun. And there's a white pigeon. You guys haven't seen it on the camera yet, but there's one white pigeon and uh, that's our target. And if you guys remember, Walker and Texas Ranger are still in the pack. If you know, you know. This is bad. We ain't getting very good at all. I know what kind of adjustments I need to make, so we'll go ahead and make those adjustments. I'll get this thing sided in really good. Oh, zoom in on the bird, zoom in on the bird. There they go, there they go. You can see them up there? There's one white one, and then there they are again. What they're doing, and the reason we're actually getting, oh, there's the white one, there's the white one. Can y'all see it? It's the one up top. Man, I can't even see it anymore. Anyways, the reason we're actually hunting these pigeons is one, because they're pigeons and you can hunt them pretty much year round with no reason. They're invasive and they actually do try to get up in the attics of houses and buildings around here. And then they uh, use the bathroom and that's not good for like people breathing and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try to do something about it. And I kind of need bait for trapping. So if I can kill a couple of these, I'm actually gonna use them for bait. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing sided in pretty good and then we'll get back with you guys whenever we try to go get another pigeon. Just take the one on the corner. Tell me when you're ready. We're ready. Right, he fell off the other side. Just be still and they might come back. I have a long shot. Make sure he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. All right, we'll get him. There's number one. That'll definitely be bait. And then if we kill more than I need for bait, I will uh, just skin them up and eat them. They're pretty good, they're not bad. That should be good. 